Hi everyone, we're here to do a little fishing today. I think about fishing often when I think about writing headlines. Uh, there's a lot of similarities when you think about it, really. We have all kinds of people and audience out there in the stream, and it's our job to try to catch them with the material we have for them, the stories, the pictures, all our content. So how are we going to get what's in the stream to notice what we have for them? Well, one of the things we do with our headlines is we try to entice them. Here's one. Oh, it's kind of plain, but, you know, it tells them a little bit about what it is we have. It looks like a fish, but it's not. Uh, here's another one. Also kind of flashy, a little bit of orange on there, meant to attract their attention. A headline writer, when you get right down to it, has, oh, there's one. A headline writer has a lot of tools when they're trying to attract somebody to a story. You can use uh, very strong verbs. Those are the engines of good headlines, I think. You can use colorful nouns. You can use surprise. You can use mystery. Uh, you can use just sheer amazement uh, with a really great news story. Tell people what's going on and they'll, they'll bite. Now, a good headline is meant not just to attract the eye, it always has a hook on the end. Can I get that reader to go beyond the headline into the lead on my website, my magazine, my newspaper? Then it's the writer's job, or sometimes the photographer's job, to get people to read the story. But as a headline writer, it's my job to use one of these fancy lures to get them in there. A fancy lure can't be misleading. It has to be real when we talk, talk about journalism. But we're going to use as many tricks as we can to get people to pay attention to what we think are good stories. Otherwise, we wouldn't be publishing them. So, when you write headlines, think about what are you going to do to attract somebody from out there with all the things they have around them to read the story that you're putting on your website or in your magazine or newspaper. Good luck.